Hello and welcome to Anton's TV. My name is Jack and Oz is about to throw me a box. Thank you, Oz. And he's thrown me a box of Roland Gaia. It's Friday the 29th of September 2023. And yesterday I saw that the internet was filled with videos about this. I deliberately ignored all of them. <laughs> so that I could get this out of the box, play the first 10 patches, you'll get an honest reaction from me, and then in a few weeks time, Andrew from Roland will come and explain all the other bits that probably he's already done in other videos. Yes, but let's make this one anyway, let's go! Oh, it actually looks cool. It does look cool. It looks way cooler than I thought it was gonna, cause the last one was a bit of a stalwart, thank you mate, an early noughties, stalwart and like everyone had a guy and it was a good price i think people liked it because it wasn't expensive and you could learn it was i don't know how much this is so i'm not going to comment on it but it looks cool it's definitely more sturdy than the last one it's metal the other one was plastic um looks like they've done away with the d-beam but they've got this we're gonna plug it in let's freaking go On to the inbuilt sounds. Oz, the first one, is called Gaia Moody Piano. The screen is a big upgrade from the last one. Let's try it out. I'm going to go for the key of C. Right, I need to touch the motional pad. I mean, I dig it. I'm anti ribbon, anti pad, but I like that. It, it's not ruining the sound either. It's not like so absurd. No, it feels good as well. I like the, uh, there's like a, a, a unique texture to it. I thought, I did see that. I saw like the thumbnails of it. I was like, ah! Yeah. But I saw that and I was a bit skeptical. Uh, big square lead, we're gonna go for the key. Oh, G. Wow. Wild. Uh, next one is Val Sweep Pad. I'm gonna go for A minor. I think the effects have got markedly better the last few, since the SH4 thing they did. They've fi fixed the effects, they sound really good. Wave table bass, um, let's go. Basement blaster with some mad sh going on here. I don't know if you can pick that up on the screen. It looks like AI trying to draw the print symbol. That's what I'm guessing it is. Oh my god. Look yeah, do you know what I mean?
The motional pad in the comments. I'd love to know what you think about the motional pad. What does it feel like? It feels like you can feel the coarseness of it. Mm. I like that it's not actually getting too marked up with grease. Yeah. Some of these things, they end up being a bit like they create almost like a puddle, the old school ones. This looks way more robust, but I'm just, um, obviously I'm over fixating on it and there's all these other bits, which we'll get to, I get it. Uh, this one's called Gaia. Uh, and we're gonna go for something in D. Wave table stuff. Chill steps pad. Sequencer. I'm fascinated to know what this is. I think that's in that automation for the motional pad. Oh, so someone's drawn that in. Yeah. Like, there's a, this has got a gingerbread man mod modulation, chip fighter. Oh, that's pretty cool. I mean, it's such a harsh sound. Wave times. Uh, we go. Oh, sweet. Hmm. We'll do two more glass polysynth. Has it got aftertouch? The last one didn't have aftertouch. One of the most Roland sounding things I've ever, that sounds like Roland. Right, last one, Synthar Atmos. Gives you an idea of it. Uh, hopefully it puts it on your radar. We're taking orders for this already. Links are below, but also keep an eye out for Andy to come in and uh, we'll do a deep dive on this thing. Uh, he's a knowledgeable chap. I'll play you out of Synthar Atmos. Thanks Oz for being here, brother. And uh, let's see what we can get going.